everybody. So, I'm going to be showing off some, what I think is essential Sheik tech that every Sheik player should be using. So, um, yeah, this isn't going to be a too long of a video. I, uh, I just thought I would get this out there. Uh, something I felt like sharing for a while. Um, so the first thing is, uh, your use of needles. Uh, this is just a tech in general. There's, like, the wave bounce needles, beer reverse needles, uh, grounded beer reverse needles uh this is all just like important stuff for your movement and to find kills because after the patch we got the the reduced landing lag uh needles so we're now able to like shoot them really close to the ground and not have lag so the two ways that you're able to cancel these is uh you can hit the shield button lightly and you can jump um in Smash 4, you used to be able to hold the shield button and a special at the same time, uh, and it would cancel instantly into the special, but now you have to jump before you do any special move, uh, and you weren't able to do that in Smash 4, uh, jump to cancel it. Um, the next thing I want to show you guys is uh, this technique. It's not a Sheik-specific technique, but Sheik is one of the characters can, that can abuse it the most. Uh, it's called dash walking. So this is my, this is my normal... Uh, just initial dash into stop and then this is my run this is a dash walk so what I'm doing is I hold forward and hit C stick like immediately after I I hit forward um, it doesn't matter what direction you hit the C stick uh, I personally do it down it's just more comfortable for me um, and this lets you like buffer a full dash and then immediately do a walk. Uh, this is really useful against a character like Snake, where here let me put this on on two. Uh, against a character like Snake, uh, he's gonna pull these grenades in neutral. Look, I'm already. I react. Okay, he goes. He goes pull grenade. Okay, I run up and grab you. Like what do you do? Uh, it's like it's super good against a ton of characters. Uh, you just get in. You can also, uh, like, do a dash walk into, like, a down tilt uh, and then get a confirm off of that. Like, at probably, like, 90%, I could kill them. Oh, like, oh. That was bad. But, so, like, something like that, you know what I mean? Uh, I'm, trying to get, I'm trying to get the tipper, but my spacing sucks. Yeah, like that. Um, so, dash walking is super important. Um, the next things are going to be relating to up B. So the first one is a mix up you can do while recovering called a beefy up B. Uh, this was a technique popularized in Smash 4 by uh, this YouTube channel called the Beefy Smash Dudes. Uh, they used to make like tech videos. I think they they just mostly do like challenge stuff now because there's not that much tech in Ultimate. But basically, when you're up being uh, after after a certain point with Sheik's up B, uh, you can't control uh, which direction you're going to go anymore. It's like right here, like right, right when you blow up. Uh, so this this one is pretty hard. It'll take a while to learn, but once you get it down, you get it down. Uh, so you up B and then you hold down, and you'll you'll go above the ledge. And the thing about Sheik's uh, up B is that this the the reappearing hitbox or when you reappear it has a hitbox, and that did five percent. So when you're recovering low. Say you have Snake right here, and he's like charging a up smash or whatever. You hit him right when he starts charging, and then uh, he gets like hit back, and then you're in a position where you can go back onto the stage. Uh, this is also good against characters who are like just like standing there, like waiting. They're gonna react to you. Um, the next thing is this um, runoff upbeat tech, which is something I'm I'm known for doing a lot. Um, I don't know like. If there's anything specific that I do that like I'm just not realizing, but you just run off, you just run off and up B, and you just hold hold the momentum. Because at, when you when you up B in the air, you do like gain some momentum. So essentially, you're just running off and up B. Uh, you're also able to do like these really like short ones. Uh, usually for these, I'll like I'll land like right next to the stage and then like barely walk off. Uh, yeah, like that. Uh, this was really good, and still probably is really good against uh, Little Mac. 
literally you, you just do that uh, and if he's under the stage uh, he'll get stage spiked if he's above the stage he goes up to a like a distance that's around here so it's way easier to edge guard him uh, the next one I'm gonna have to put him on to attack real quick so let me go up here so around here if I up B normally as you can see I can't make that okay I made it right there but around right here no jump you're not making that okay yeah so that happens you get a bunch of momentum uh, and you are able to like fly onto the stage basically this is really good in like ledge trapping situations uh, something in smash 4 that I would do a lot was against villager uh, you would be on the ledge and they would forward tilt you and then you would up B so you would be like around like right here and you would up B and you would fly onto the stage to where they are and they would just be standing there and then they get hit by up B uh, and then in ultimate situations like that happen a lot too also I, d I didn't mention that earlier with needles uh, you can do this but I'll just explain a bunch of combos at the end so uh, the next combo I wanted to show or not combo but next thing I wanted to show was um, this is gonna be the last thing outside of needle combos is this technique called rain dropping I'm going to link a video by uh, Golgi I believe is his name um, he has a very good well-explained video on rain dropping and who it works on but essentially what you do is you F tilt dash forward uh, F tilt dash forward up there let me just explain it first. let me explain it first before I try to do it and explain because I just be messing myself up you F tilt dash forward full hop up air fast fall you want to hit the first three hits land let go of down hit down again drop to the platform again and do up smash so it's that right there but basically this is a uh, viable kill confirm with Sheik because of how fast forward tilt comes out uh, it's uh, unreactable to DI to it obviously if they're already holding the direction that they want to DI because uh, if you don't know if you DI away on short Sheik's forward tilt uh, oh shoot yeah. I just I held away right there you you go like this is this is uh, no DI and then this is uh this is DI way so like it's a pretty big difference one last thing I wanted to mention actually was um, before I show off some combos is uh, Sheik's dare so uh, essentially her dare uh, what it can provide for you is against characters that have an active hitbox on their up B, uh, it can trade with it. So right there, you saw with snakes up B. Let me get the, let me get the snake down there. But since snakes up B, okay, not not right there. And since snakes up B has a uh, a hitbox on it, you could do down air. It'll fall, spike snake, and then Sheik will get hit and. Uh, like be able to come back up because normally this is this is a move that will just kill you this also works against squirtle uh fox wolf and a, a bayonetta works against her and a ton of other characters so yeah everybody that's gonna be it for this video i decided uh i will do another video uh showing off some sheet combos hopefully it won't take a year this time uh between the two videos but uh hey we'll see uh yeah so uh, thank you all for sticking around and watching the video i guess i know uh i know i haven't posted in forever but uh you know life life just be like that uh hopefully i'll i'll have some uh some new video ideas soon uh, if not, I will just uh, make videos when, whenever I feel like it. Yeah. Alright. See y'all later. Goodbye.